Hi, it's me Jacqueline. Welcome to my channel. If you're new to the channel, then please subscribe my channel and visit my Patreon page. Link in the description. It was so easy to make friends as Jamie and soon I had made lots of new friends. We spent every day together playing with our dolls or going to the pool. Mommy was so happy that I had friends. I never had any before. I guess no one wanted to bother with me then. Now though, my friends and I had so much in common. We all liked Barbies. We all liked to look at and giggle about the cute guys at he pool. And we all liked to dress up in pretty clothes. One day we were all at Nikki's house playing Barbies when she suggested we play dress up. I was sort of afraid to say anything because I didn't want them to think that I was a sissy. While I was sitting quietly worrying though another girl, Mandy, spoke right up. I've got this pretty dress my mother likes me to wear. It's green and has a real fancy kind of skirt and puffy sleeves. It's so dreamy. I feel like a princess when I wear it. I have this to die for dress that is so cute. A girl named Cindy added. It's dark red velvet that feels as soft and cozy as my favorite nightgown. I got caught up in the enthusiasm. I have a dress like that too, Mandy, I added enthusiastically. Do you have petticoats to wear with yours? No, but I still feel so special when I have it on, Mandy sighed. It's my mother's favorite dress and mine too. Do you think your moms will let you bring them over to play in? Nikki asked. We could try on each other's dresses and put on a fashion show. I'll ask. I quickly volunteered. I'm sure mommy won't mind if I promise to be careful. And I could bring over my makeup kit too. We were thrilled with the idea of trying on each other's dresses and playing with my makeup kit, so we quickly dashed off to gather our things. I got both of my party dresses along with a pair of harem girl PJs, my makeup kit, and of course several petticoats and pairs of ruffled panties. Mandy got her dress and a manicure kit. Nikki brought a couple of her mom's prom and bridesmaid gowns. Cindy brought her dress and some of her mom's old shoes. And we laughed and giggled and modeled for each other, and Nikki's mom, who took pictures so the rest of us could show our mothers. Everyone loved my dress and especially my petticoats. Mandy borrowed one to wear at home so that she could show her mother how pretty it was. I just have to have a petticoat like this, she sighed as she twirled in front of the mirror. Every princess should have something this beautiful. Let me put makeup on you, Mandy, I pleaded. I'll bet you'd look hot with lipstick. Mandy was a brave girl, sitting very still while I carefully put lipstick and eyeshadow on her and Cindy did her nails. We did a pretty good job for a couple of silly little girls and even Nikki's mom said Mandy looked cute. Your turn, Jamie. Nikki laughed as she forced me into the chair. It was so much fun having her and Mandy put makeup on me that I made Cindy do my toenails too. I want to have pretty toes in case a handsome prince brings a glass slipper for me to try on. I pouted. If she gets hers done, I want mine done too. Mandy insisted. After all, I'm the princess. By the end of the day, we had all tried on every piece of clothing and had our makeup done, our fingernails and toenails polished, and our hair curled. We must have been quite a sight because it was all Nikki's mom could do to keep from laughing as she took our pictures. That was the first of many wonderfully fun fashion shows my girlfriends and I put on for each other and our mothers. Each one was more fun than the last. We would double dare each other to put on one of our mother's dresses with high heels and walk around the block. When the poor girl who got dared came back, we all collapsed into a giggling, laughing heap. I couldn't imagine having that much fun as a boy. That afternoon, when I went home for dinner, I rushed over to Mommy and threw my arms around her neck. You're the nicest, most sweetest, lovable Mommy in the whole wide world. I said as I showered her with kisses. What did I do to deserve this? She asked, pleasantly surprised by this sudden outpouring of love. It's so much fun being a girl Mommy. I gushed. I have so many nice friends, and we have all kinds of fun playing games that I never could have done before, and I love all of my pretty dresses and underwear in. And I love you, Jamie, Mommy said as she began to shower me with kisses. I was so afraid of losing you, but I really felt so bad about doing this to you. But I like being a girl, Mommy. I think it's so much better to be a girl than a silly boy. Boys can't have nearly the fun I have with my girlfriends. They have to wear pants all the time, and they can't wear pretty underwear like I can, or play dress up, or even have a tea party with their favorite baby dolls. Mommy dried her tears and pulled me onto her lap. 
You make me feel so happy, Jamie. I'll never forget the fun I had with my pretty girl. I don't want to be a boy again, mommy, I announced firmly. I want to be a girl forever and grow up to be a pretty lady, just like you. Take your time and have fun, Jamie, mommy told me. Someday you may decide that you'd rather be a boy again. I won't mind, I promise. I'll always have times like this to make me happy. I don't care how long I wait, I pouted. I don't ever want to be a boy again. Never, ever, ever. When you graduate from high school, we'll see how you feel. Mommy insisted. If you still want to be a girl, I'll understand. If you want to be a boy, I'll still love you with all of my heart. Needless to say, I refused to change my mind. I wanted to be a girl and I was determined that nothing would change my mind. I'd be the best daughter any mommy could hope for and my mommy would be so happy she'd forget all about making me be a stupid boy again. I started fourth grade that fall thinking it would be easy. I'd already done it once right. The second time will be a snap. I was amazed though to discover that everything I was being taught seemed new to me. I sat up straight like a good girl and paid very close attention, especially when we had arithmetic. Adding fractions? How did you do that? They didn't look the same. What was the teacher saying about making them equal somehow? The same thing happened with my geography lessons. Other kids could identify states on the map, but I found it really hard to even find Arizona. I remember having arithmetic and geography before, but it seemed so long ago and I honestly couldn't remember much about what I learned. That afternoon when mommy came home, I asked if she had done something to make me forget the things I had learned before. Not a thing, Jamie, she promised. You were a terrible student, but your teachers just kept passing you along. No one wanted to have you in their class any longer than necessary. I asked them to hold you back, but they wouldn't. Everything seems so new to you because it really is. You never paid attention the first time. I'm sorry, mommy. I'll do lots better this time and you'll be so proud of me. Of course, she'd be proud of me as a girl, not a boy. I did just like I promised mommy I would and studied real hard. Soon, all of my studying and homework got me a report card with all A's on it. Mommy was so thrilled with me that she took me shopping to buy some new clothes. I picked out some really cute outfits that I thought I looked nice in, a couple of tops with Winnie the Pooh characters on them, some more running shorts which felt so silky, and a yellow and white sundress with pretty flowers on it. I needed the sundress to make me feel better. I was tired of wearing the same old green skirt or jumper and white cotton blouse to school every single day. I just had to have something pretty to wear. I kept studying and working hard in school and made the honor roll for every report card during the rest of elementary school and even junior high. My friends all teased me about being a brain, but they all came to me for help with their homework. I taught them all of my tricks for studying and taking tests and by seventh grade, we were always trying to see who could get the best grade on a test. Even better that being the smartest girl in my school were the looks I started to get from boys in my class. I'd catch them looking at me and smiling, and there were a couple of boys who made me feel all funny inside when they did that. I was starting to grow up. I had just recently given up my soft, cozy, t-shirts for training bras, and it was still a little strange to see those bumps on my chest and know what they'd become. My girlfriends and I used to joke around and stuff our bras to see who could have the biggest breasts, but even without padding I was the best developed of any girl in my class, a fact the boys took notice of. Most of the boys in my class were jerks. There were a couple of boys at the high school that I thought were dreamy, but they didn't want anything to do with the junior high school girl. Of course, my only being 12 years old didn't seem to stop them from checking out my chest and butt or staring at my legs when I wore a dress. They'd look and smile, but since they were too old for the junior high dances and I was too young for the high school dances, all I could do was dream about them at night and concentrate on the boys in my class who weren't totally goofy or immature. My friends and I loved the junior high dances. They gave us chances to wear pretty outfits and strut our stuff in front of the guys. I wore my first real pair of heels to one of those dances and between them and my suede miniskirt, I had more offers to dance than I could count. It was fun during the fast dances to dance across from a cute guy and put a little extra into my chest and butt movements. They always smiled and moved closer, but for some reason after the song they'd rush into the boys' bathroom. The slow songs were special though. There were only certain boys that I'd dance slowly with since they had to hold me. 
I didn't want any of the nerdy jerks in my class running their hands all over me while we danced so I stayed away from them and reserved all of the slow dances for the really cute guys who made me feel so happy and pretty. Sometimes I'd feel sort of goofy after dancing with boys. I told mommy about it and she and I sat down for a long talk. Do you feel that way with any boy? Mommy asked while we drank cups of hot chocolate. No, just with the ones I think are really cute and dreamy looking, I responded with a deep sigh, thinking of some of the cute boys I danced with. They gave me the funniest feelings inside of my bra and panties. But then again, I only slow dance with cute and dreamy looking boys. There aren't that many of them, but they are awfully cute. Can you tell me what it feels like? Does your heart pound? Do you feel upset or sick? No, I blushed so badly I thought I'd turn into a traffic light. I don't feel upset or sick. My heart does pound, but I don't mind. I'll bet that you have some strange feelings in your breasts, don't you? I nodded, feeling as though mommy could read my mind. Uh-huh, they feel really weird. Sort of like the way you feel in your panties? I stared speechless. How do you know that? Did I talk in my sleep? Mommy smiled at me. You're growing up, honey. You're not a little girl anymore. You're beginning to become attracted to boys just like any other girl your age. Those funny feelings in your breasts and your crotch are perfectly normal for a girl to have when she's around a cute boy. As you get older, they'll get stronger. It's nature's way of keeping the species going. Boys have similar feelings, just a lot more concentrated in one area. Mommy. I laughed while turning a deep crimson. I couldn't believe she was talking like that. We had a long girl talk about boys that night. Mommy told me all about what it was like for her growing up and how she felt when she danced with or went out with cute boys. She even taught me how to flirt with them in a way that would be okay for a girl my age. I learned so many things that night that I never thought about before but would remember for the rest of my life. Mommy told me that since I was becoming a young lady, I could wear lip gloss and a little eyeshadow to the dances. Let's see how the boys react to that. She laughed. I gave her the biggest hug and kiss I could manage. I couldn't wait to show off to my girlfriends, but especially to the boys. Mommy's advice and my new makeup thrilled my girlfriends and got me a lot of requests to go skating with some of the cutest guys in my class. Mommy said that I was too young to date, but if my girlfriends and I wanted to go skating and just happened to run into some cute boys, she wouldn't mind my skating with them. Of course you can guess where my girlfriends and I spent our Saturdays from then on. So far everything was going the way I had planned. Mommy seemed to have forgotten that I was a boy and was treating me just like my girlfriends were treated. I was having the time of my life. I was popular, considered to be the smartest girl in my school, and mommy and I were never closer. It sometimes bothered me that I should have been graduating from high school and hitting on pretty girls, but ever since mommy started giving me pills to boost the female hormones in my body, I had fewer and fewer feelings like that. I was a pretty girl, enjoying a life I never imagined existed with friends who really cared about me. Why worry about what it would have been like to stay as a boy? If I wanted to know anything about boys, all I had to do was ask any of the boys I skated with or danced with. I was sure they'd be happy to tell me. The boys I knew were all worried about silly things like baseball, football, and cars. They often fought with each other or did silly things to get the attention of my friends and I. They couldn't wear the pretty bras and panties I wore, and they had no idea how nice it felt to wear stockings and heels. They could keep their silly sports and cars and fighting. I wanted to be pretty and wear silky underwear like big girls wore. As I grew up and started high school, I wondered if I'd ever notice any changes in my body. Funny, but the last time I was ready to start high school, I didn't look that much different. I had long blonde hair, weighed almost the same, and I didn't have any hair on my face then either. Sometimes I'd look in the mirror and wonder if I was a girl or a boy. I thought that my breasts were still too small, my shape wasn't going to get me any calls to model for Sports Illustrated, and I didn't have that much of a butt. I wasn't that much different from my girlfriends, but I didn't like it. If I didn't change soon, mommy might just decide to make me go back to being a boy and I didn't want to give up my pretty outfits or my great friends. It made me feel very sad to think of having to wear pants and a shirt to a dance instead of a pretty dress or a cute miniskirt. I didn't want to act like the silly boys I knew. I was too happy being a girl, and I wanted to make sure mommy knew how I felt. Please subscribe for the next part and visit my Patreon page for early access.